Hello, my name is Tom Green. I'm the head football coach at Surrattsville High School in Clinton, Maryland. And today I'm going to talk to you about a great offense, the spread veer offense. We're going to talk about today the midline option and the speed option. We're going to go into details on how it's so important, part of your offense when you're running the spread veer offense, and how you can attack an offense, you can attack the defense in many different ways using many different formations. Using this offense, we took a team that was uh, 57 years never making the playoffs. We made the playoffs averaging 37 points a game, over 5,000 yards of offense. Even with this structured team we have, we had no offensive linemen. We used linebackers on the offensive line, guys under 200 pounds at offensive guard and tackle, and we were still very successful using this offense. With this offense, we are reading uh, big offense, defensive linemen, we're reading tackles, we're reading defensive ends, and it allows us to still have a successful offense using the spread veer offense. As a part of this offense, why the speed option in the midline is so important, when you run this offense, the spread veer offense, the veers run off of the guard, the outside veers run off the tackle. You want to incorporate the midline and the speed option, which allows you to run straight up the middle, which allows you to read a, a, a back, uh, a gap defender and also the speed option allows you to read the D gap defender. That way you can attack the defense from inside out so wherever they're giving you pressure, wherever they're creating problems on defense, you have a play that you can check to and still have a successful team. Now we're going to talk about the advantages of using the midline and the speed option. The first of all with the when you have a small offensive line, when you have guys like we have under 200 pounds at offensive guard and tackle, and we are playing against guys that are 270, 280 pounds, it allows us to read these guys and not block them. So if we make good decisions, we can still be successful. We'll start with the midline. With the midline option, you're always reading the first man, the, the fullback's diving actually at the, the butt of the center. So with him diving at the butt of the center, it actually allows us to read the defensive tackle. We're not blocking the defensive tackle, and whatever decision he makes, we'll pull the ball if he tackles the fullback. If not, we'll run the ball with the quarterback. So with that advantage, we don't have to block a defensive tackle that could be over 250 pounds. We don't have the alignment to do that. Even with the speed option, if we play a team with the, their best player at defensive end, we can go to the speed option. We can use the speed option and not block their best player on the line of scrimmage, meaning the defensive end. So if they're running a the speed option, now we can get a double team on the tackle. And the biggest advantage of any option football is you don't have to block everyone on the defense, and it gives you an advantage in that way. So regardless of the formation that we're running, it gives us an opportunity that we can run the speed option and make him make a decision. So he'll determine whether it's a quarterback keep or if it's a pitch to the fullback. That's the big advantage of running the midline option and the speed option. Now we're going to show the rules of the midline option. We're going to start out of a spread formation. Throughout the video, we're going to show multiple formations and different motions that you can run the midline and the speed option out of. We're going to start out of our spread set. We're going to start out our spread set here, and what we're going to do, if we're running the midline to the right, actually the play side tackles rule is kick out. His rule is always kick out the man that's outside of him. The play side guards rule, his rule is always 